Okay, everyone. Before we jump into singing and playing guitar, um, the very first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to start with singing. So this is before we jump into the skill of singing and playing guitar. But um, most important thing uh, that I just never really hear a lot of people talk about. Um, it's something that bugs me a lot. Um, that people say melody is king and all these things. But uh, number one rule that I have learned over playing so many, so many shows and so many good and bad performances trying to figure out what is the thing that connects to the crowd. Um, and funny enough, it's the vocal part. So the vocal is pretty much the North Star of any single song that you will listen to. It is the most important thing. So I just can't stress it enough. The most important. Now, a lot of the times when we get into singing and playing, um, say, for instance, I had to learn this a really hard way because I'm a guitarist. Uh, I started out as a guitarist. I was I was always thinking about what's the harmonies, what are the chords doing, what all. It's like now I'm like Luan, you know the rule. The rule is get the vocal. The vocal is number one. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into like vocal training because that is just like a whole thing to tackle. But I'm just going to give you the three steps that if you're going to learn a song, um, this is for any beginner singer. This is for an advanced singer. Um, no matter what level you're at, you just follow these three steps and they're the only steps that you need to take when you're going into jumping to sing and play a song. Um, so you can be like absolutely tone deaf and do this and it will still work out and you will improve. 100% you improve. And I've seen tone deaf singers improve. I, when I first started singing and playing, the very first reaction towards every single person around me was just play guitar stop singing it's horrible please stop please stop like that was it like my family had to go through the worst uh period of hearing me sit in the living room practice my doo -doo 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 -doo, doing all my singing it was uh quite embarrassing but just understand we all suck at the beginning and then you know now i get paid to sing so pff, yes it paid off Woo! okay so the three steps to a vocal that are like these are going through the uh, highest priority things. So three steps, um, you've got the rhythm of the vocal and then you've got the melody of the vocal and then you've got the lyrics of the vocal. Now, when I kind of split them even, it's more like this. The rhythm of the vocal, I'll make sure I keep in frame. <laughs> rhythm of the vocal, melody of the vocal, lyric of the vocal. Melody and lyric, have pretty close to much the same weight of importance uh, whenever you're going in and singing. Uh, that's my two cents. I have experimented this many times when I'm performing. I'm like, what's the thing that connects people? What's the thing that makes the song pop? What's the make, like when I sing a song, what makes the people come up to me and be like, wow, I love the way you sang that, or I really felt that, or things like that. What is that element that is the thing that makes it happen? And I've kind of set out a priority system for myself where I'm like, it's turned out it's the vocal rhythm because I mess with the, the melody and I do incredible melodies, but no one really cares. Lyrics, not a big deal. Melody and lyric, people hear in their heads very, very clearly. Uh, and um, they, like if you sing it and you're pretty close, they kind of like, um, there's what they hear in their head and there's what you're delivering to them. And they kind of like, marry the two i don't know you, you test it out when you go and watch someone play live you'll when you hear someone singing back a cover especially if they've got the vocal rhythm down um you will also be kind of hearing the song in your back of your head and you're like yeah that's kind of good but but it's because like you're kind of like a being it in your head and, and it, i don't know i noticed that that's something i did and i noticed that's what other people did um and i noticed that the rhythm and the melody uh like the vocal melody and the uh lyrics were not like that big of a deal but the vocal rhythm, oh my God. Vocal rhythm is like, and when I say vocal rhythm, I mean like the rhythm of the words in the, in the song. So say it was like uh, the, uh -huh. yeah, so we'll do shotgun because like a lot of our guitar students have been working on that song. Be like, homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. So the vocal rhythm is, Da 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 da
And then obviously you add the lyrics. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the room. So the vocal rhythm, if you can see it, like even there, it's like, is that the that's the foundation. That's the thing that creates the feel of whatever you're singing. Now, um, you're not gonna get it right. I'm just telling you right now, you're, you're not going to get it right. Um, and I'm not looking for people who are going to be the exact copy of whatever X artist that you try to learn how to sing um, or you want to perform. If that is what you are truly passionate, you're like, I exactly want to sound like X, then totally go out and do that. Um, but do not feel bad if you do not get it exactly perfect. Um, you just want to get it as close as you can. Um, and as you improve as a singer, this skill will just be getting better and better and better. So especially if you're a beginner, don't be stressed about it. If you're super advanced, don't be stressed about it. If you don't pull, pull this out in like five minutes, I am not worried about it at all. This is the process I go through whenever I go to learn a song and it is what has achieved me the highest results um, in the fastest amount of time. So I'm going to say I go to learn a song right now. I mean, just for context, I'm going to learn You Need Me, I Don't Need You by Ed Sheeran. Um, on the stream, someone requested it and I was like, oh, Let's do it. Stupid me. Imagine Luan being like, yeah, let's just have a bit of fun. Now I have to finish it because um, I learned how to do the looping of it because I was just curious how the looping went. And uh, now I have to finish it. And it's like a 10 minute song to like figure out. And so it's about like six minutes of, of vocals that I have to go through and nail. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be frustrating. But every time, same thing, get the recording out. And then I sit there and I practice the rhythm. I'm practicing Ed Sheeran's rhythm, trying to lock in as best as I can of of his uh his his, um, his vocal line. And then after that, I'm just singing like doo doos, da da's, yee yee, whatever, whatever vowel sound I'm comfortable with. I'm singing the melody. Once I've got, uh, I'm confident with a certain rhythm, then I add a little bit of melody to that rhythm, and then I start adding the lyrics. And usually, what you'll find is if you do it in these three steps you'll have the vocal rhythm is going to allow you to get correct diction for your lyrics. You want to enunciate the words very, very clearly. I am an Australian. Australians are super, super renowned for horrible enunciation. Like, yeah, mate. Yeah, it's all good, mate. Yeah, now. Nah. Like, that's what Aussies, there's so many memes about it, but we are just lazy talkers, such lazy talkers. Americans, absolutely on fire. They slay super hard. Um, they have really good enunciation most of the time, unless you're from the deep south. And um, anyway, doesn't matter. But if you've got the correct vocal rhythm, it will actually make it so much easier that when you get to lyrics, you're not going to be like, you'll be able to finish lyrics. You want to make sure you're finishing each word on the lyric and understanding and having a good connection to the rhythm, where the notes are starting, where the notes are finishing. Um, is going to really help you out in getting the whole word, whole word completed. Like when I was listening to Ed Sheeran, I need, you need me, I don't need you. Like he doesn't mess around with his enunciation. And you would think he'd be lazy because um, he's just like smashing out this massive song and he's like YOLO, whatever. No, he is meticulous. And that's what happens when you have someone who's played over a thousand shows and you write all these songs. Like that's what he does. Like, that's what happens when you just do the work. Now, that is exactly the template. Every single song without fail, you do that, you are going to be so much further ahead than you need to be, uh, than you would have done if you were just like kind of yoloing, like, oh, I kind of know the words, kind of know the melody, let's go. Um, that's what usually people do. They're like, oh yeah, this is the words, this is the melody. And then they get the vocal rhythm a little bit wrong and they're never really sure where everything is meant to go. They're not super locked in. Uh, it makes the guitar playing so much harder. Like you just don't understand. It makes guitar playing so, 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 so hard if you have very, very poor rhythm connection and and like uh, connection to that kind of stuff. Just before my, my wife is, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> She's texting me. I got to make sure that uh, I finish this video and then I will, I will speak to her. Um, but you need to make sure that that is where you're at because... If you can't nail this vocal rhythm thing and you can't nail the, the, the vocal the way it needs to be done in the system, when you go to pick up the guitar, it is going to make it so, so hard 
um, to get that right hand to connect with the actual song. And then the the worst thing that's going to happen is you're just going to be average at singing the song. Like you could be a beginner and do this work and you will sound better than some of the professionals that I've known that I, I, I will go and watch and play shows or I'll go and do things like that. Like so many people, you will watch them and you're just like, it's not it. It's, I just I just don't feel it. Like, um, and yeah, that's, that's why this is super important. Anyway, um, that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, this is how you build a, a vocal part. Now, the little sidebar like pro tip that I'm going to give you, um, if you want to get really, really good, really fast, uh, especially for people who are not experienced and don't have a very good ear, um, which this is going to build up your ear, um, you're going to get better at hearing this stuff. Don't feel bad if you don't get it right away. It took me ages to get good at this. Now, what's going to happen? Uh, the pro tip is you have two two things. So you'll have the the track playing at you and then you're going to have yourself recording yourself singing to that track. So you're going to have the track playing and then you're going to record yourself at the same time. Then you're going to pause the track, pause the recording, go back, listen to the recording and be like, does my voice match what I'm hearing in the track? And then you have a listen. You're like, where am I missing? Where am I making the mistakes? Where am I doing this? That is... <sighs> At the beginning, you're going to be like the first instinct you're going to do as soon as you hear your